premise was that uh, I, unbeknownst to Yamaha, I tested a whole range of different manufacturers, different models of speaker systems um, that we need to generate very uh, loud um, source noise levels in, in our source room for our testing chamber. And what was important to me were that the frequency response was very flat, um, that the um, efficiency of the speakers was uh, repeatable and uh, consistent over a long period of time. So they need to be built well. Um, we don't have uh, a lot of uh, capacity for downtime in the lab. We have a lot of tests that are back to back. Um, and so we really need to minimize the amount of time the equipment needs to be either refurbished, replaced or recalibrated. Um, and also on that front, we have very strict guidelines as to the, the response, the frequency response of the units. So what for, for me, getting as close to reference the flat response as possible was really important. And I tested Yamaha, I tested a number of other manufacturers, as I said, and the best ones that came out really at higher score on all levels was were the Yamaha systems. Um, we have uh, six uh, full range speakers, the 115s, and a subunit as well, um, because it is important that uh, we, we fill in the gap that the, the full range units have got a, a very wide response, they're fantastic, but they do lack a little bit of punch. Um, between 20 hertz and 150 hertz, so we needed to fill that in with the sub. So essentially we had an issue with getting our signals from the test chamber to the control room um, where the two rooms are, are separated and um, uh, I was concerned about signal loss because once again it's a reference system and, and the, the, the clarity and uh, ensuring that there's a very uh, very low noise uh, inherent in the system was really important for the laboratory. Um, I first heard about the Dante network and that seemed to solve all of my issues. Basically, uh, no loss of signal down the, uh, the path between uh, the source and receive and to have the digital analog conversion there in the room is perfect for me. Um, and then it was just a case of really, uh, once I found out that Yamaha did a stage box that does exactly that, it solves all my problems. I think uh, the TIO was, uh, became available exactly around the time when he wanted to use something like that. Mm -hmm. And this was after the RIO and was meant for the TF series uh, mixes. And so this was available and could be used with a DVS and, and so served Paul's purpose quite well. Uh, the speakers and, and this system I think is exactly what he wanted. Mm -hmm. Uh, and had uh, envisioned for his lab and we are very happy that uh, he's chosen Yamaha for uh, his purpose. This is the first application that I have seen personally of uh, Yamaha equipment being used in a acoustic testing lab. lab. Yeah, it's probably and quite a, a unique use, use isn't it? Uses, uses, and I, this is not your we're standard quite, concert We're quite stage uh, happy that this. one of the first uh, largest uh, acoustic test laboratory in the Middle East it has decided to go with the Yamai solution and uh, I'm glad Paul decided to go with us. Mm -hmm.